Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're exploring BitGet futures. BitGet supports hundreds of cryptocurrencies with deep liquidity and a wide selection of perpetual futures contracts, including USDT margined pairs. For many traders, BitGet is appealing thanks to its high performance matching engine and robust security features designed to protect user funds. If you're brand new, you'll find the official BitGet link below in the description. It automatically applies the latest welcome bonuses, giving you fee discounts, trading rewards, and access to extra perks inside the rewards center. Before we step into the interface, here's a quick refresher. A perpetual contract mirrors the price of an underlying asset but never expires. You can go long if you expect the price to rise, or go short if you expect it to fall. Since you're trading contracts instead of actual coins, you can set your leverage from one times all the way up to the maximum available on your chosen pair. On BitGet's USDT-M perpetuals, profits and losses are settled directly in USDT, which is pegged to the US dollar. I'm guessing you already know how to create an account, deposit funds, and navigate the basics. But if not, don't worry. You'll find full step-by-step -step guides right here on my channel. Open the Futures tab from the top menu and choose USDTM Perpetual. The interface is very intuitive. Your selected market and chart are in the center, the order book and recent trades are on the right, and your open positions and order history appear below. The order panel lets you place limit or market orders, and entering quantities is simple and beginner-friendly. Right above the order panel, you'll see the margin mode selector. Cross margin uses your entire USDT balance to back all open trades, while isolated margin limits the risk to that single position. For beginners, isolated is always the safest way to start. Next to it is the leverage control. You can adjust it with the slider or type the exact number you want, from a conservative one times up to the maximum leverage BitGet allows for that pair. Let's talk quickly about leverage. For example, if you have $100 and choose 20 times leverage, you'll be able to trade with $2,000. That means you can open a position worth $2,000, almost like you bought that much Bitcoin. If the price rises just 5%, your profit becomes 100% of your initial $100. But the same works in reverse. If the price drops 5%, you'll lose your $100, and liquidation usually happens even earlier because the exchange closes your position before your entire margin disappears. So anytime you're using higher leverage, always open BitGet's liquidation calculator, enter your parameters, and tap Calculate. You'll instantly see your liquidation price. The higher the leverage, the closer that liquidation level gets. And watch what happens when you lower leverage. The liquidation price moves farther away, giving your trade much more breathing room. This is why you should always know your liquidation level and place your stop loss above it. Once liquidation happens, your entire margin is gone instantly. Guys, I know some of this might sound complicated, but once you actually start practicing, it becomes much easier. The best approach is to use a small amount you're comfortable risking. Or even better, start with BitGet's demo trading mode, which is completely risk-free. Let's make a quick example. Say you're bullish on Ethereum. Open the ETH USDT perpetual pair, choose limit, set your entry slightly below the current market price, and choose your order size, maybe $100. Check your liquidation price. If it's too close, lower your leverage and keep your margin mode on isolated. If you're new, I don't recommend going above three times. Add a stop loss a few percent below your entry, but still above liquidation, and then click buy long. Confirm your settings. Your order will appear under Open Orders, and once filled, it moves into Positions, where you'll see your PL, Margin, and Entry Price in real time. If you forgot to set TP slash SL, just open your position and add them anytime. BitGet keeps them as conditional orders, so they trigger even if you're offline. You'll also see the funding rate above the order book. If longs dominate, they pay shorts, and if shorts dominate, they pay longs. It's a small detail, but if you're holding positions for days, these payments add up. Closing your position is simple. You can close instantly with market or choose a limit close to pay lower maker fees and possibly get a better price. Always remember that fees are charged both when opening and closing the trade, and large leverage multiplies the impact of fees on your PNL. 
Using limit orders whenever possible helps keep your costs lower on BitGet. Now let's walk through another simple example of how futures trading works. For example, Bitcoin costs $100,000 and you have only $100. And for example, you take X125 leverage. So you buy Bitcoins for $12,500. Then Bitcoin rose to $125,000. You close the deal and you get $3,125 in profit. That's really cool. But there is one thing. If this price drops to $99,200, you will lose your $100. So it's very risky to trade here. You can minimize the risks by setting stop loses and take profits. You set a stop lose value to prevent the loss of all your money. Like if the price drops to $99,850, you will lose only $20 instead of $100, and you will be able to continue trading. Take profit is the price when the order closes automatically. You need this so you don't miss out on a good closing price. And that's it, guys. Don't forget to use the link in the description to activate your BitGet promo offer. Trade safely, use proper risk management, and good luck.